Being a professional sports person may seem more like fun than hard work, but it comes with its own set of challenges. Brahan Juma is an up-and-coming footballer who's very focused on his career while also trying hard to strike a balance, as I discovered when I met up with him. Born and bred in Polokwane, Burhan was only eight when he first laced up his boots as a player in the local club's under-10 side. By age 14, he was already playing at senior level and while still a teenager, he signed for Kaiser Chiefs. Football in South Africa isn't a game, it isn't a business, it's an absolute obsession. And I'm not going to lie, I might be a little bit obsessed with soccer player Burhan Juma. So I decided to meet him off the soccer pitch, but for sports crazy Burhan, that meant on the tennis court. Hello! Hey, how are you doing? Good! Oh, good. Good, so I'm not finding you on a soccer pitch, but I am finding you on a tennis court. Have you always been sport crazy? Yes, always. Sport has been my passion. If it's not soccer, it's tennis. And when did you know you could be a professional soccer player? Well, the training through my dad, always giving me motivation, always telling me about football. And since then, I just wanted to become a professional footballer. Okay, I have two left knees when it comes to balls and soccer. Could you, could you teach me a few tricks? Come and show you some. How long did it take for you to be able to do that? Probably took a few months, eh? A few months. You roll it with the end of your foot. Okay. And then you pick it up with your with the top of your foot. So roll it under <laughs> and then you pick it up. There we go. Okay. Let's do it again. Just roll the ball and pick it up. I want to try the one with my knee. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's not bad at all for a starter, eh? You're very sweet for saying that's not bad at all for a starter. <laughs> when was your professional breakthrough in soccer? 2012 was actually one of my biggest breaks because I was playing an Indian tournament where I got scouted and I actually thought that it was just a joke when the next day I got a call from Chief saying, Burhan, you know what, you need to come in from a trial. And ever since then, I haven't looked back. Burhan, how did it feel to be signed by the Kaiser Chiefs? It's, uh, I know what's going to describe this feeling. Take us through your journey of soccer. I played soccer in Polokwane for my school. It progressed playing for my local team, which is Nirvana United as well. Why are you so successful as a soccer player? I'm a central midfielder and I'm a left-footed. So that actually makes me unique and different from other players because you very rarely find left-footed in South Africa. And who or what has helped you succeed to this point? I am where I am today is because of my family and my wife who's been pushing me and always motivating me to do my best. And well, this is for them. I just want to give them the best and this is what they deserve. I obviously need more practice out here, but I I know we've got a photo shoot lined up, so let's head out. <laughs> this would be an opportunity to meet Burhan's wife, Adila. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, Becky. Good to meet you. You too. I'm going to leave you guys to it. You're looking like you're doing great work. Okay, guys, let's stay over there. Let's take some good stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Is that a squiz? You're not bad at what you do. <laughs> These are great. What is the purpose of this shoot? No, we're finally back in South Africa from being apart from each other. She was in Riyadh teaching hours in Croatia playing football, so we're back now. We just got married, so yeah, it's our first photo shoot together. Burhan and Adila got engaged before she left for Saudi Arabia. And they then spent a year apart before she returned and they could tie the knot. How did you guys meet each other? We met through mutual friends and we grew a great bond, a great relationship and then he worked his charm and <laughs> we've been okay. together for three years. You guys look like you belong on the front of a glossy magazine. I'm going to leave you to it. Got one more pic to take, let's head inside. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yusuf. Being a professional footballer means you're often in the public eye. How do you guys deal with this? Every person that comes to you, you just have to deal with it in a good way, in an open mind. We basically just accept any challenge, any criticism together. We want team. Take us through a typical day as a footballer. I go to training every single day, two, three, three hours a day. You have to give all, you have to be motivated. You have to go in with a positive mindset. So where do you see yourself in five years' time? Obviously Manchester United. It's always been my dream to play for them. Since I was a kid, I always supported them. And yeah, Zlatan, I'm out to get you. Saki, we have loads of friends and family waiting for you downstairs to join us for a scrumptious lunch. Shall we go? I would love that. I'm famished after all that soccer. Saki, I hope you've had a nice day and you've been enjoying it with us. Thank you so much. I actually wanted to ask your dad, did you ever think you would see your son as a professional soccer player? Funny enough, yes, I do. From a very young age, we worked hard together. And when I saw the talents coming through, we worked on it. We nurtured it. When I saw the appetite, the passion, the hunger for the game, 
I said they can only get better. And Burhan, what advice do you have for aspiring soccer players? You got to have the appetite, the hunger, the passion for football, and uh, with that comes humble. You have to be humble, and you must just always remember dre dreams do come through. Thank you so much for the day. It's only a pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. For someone who's so quick on his feet, Farhan is very well grounded and he's found his perfect match in Adila. They make a great team together and we're wishing them nothing but the best.